So hi everybody and welcome back to Sunreal Engine 5 uh, tutorial series for beginners an overview and we stopped in the last video uh, here it, this video is number six I think and uh, we stopped here on the right side with outline and details world settings and we continue now with the bottom settings so what we see uh, here at the bottom left side it says content to the drawer content browser i call it and i click on it so you can see this one is very important we will talk here a little bit actually we talk right now about it so what we see here we click on it we can uh, activate this content drawer actually with a key binding it's much more convenient it say when you hover over it and read the tooltip it says what you have to press on your keyboard instead of using the mouse which is much more convenient and it says control space bar so i press control space bar you see it's a little bit faster because we use the keyboard anyway all the time but of course you can use the mouse as well then we go so what we see here on the left side here is favorites here are mm, all the content for your created project so i called my project demonstration uh, youtube right this one and then i have all the files which i'm going to create here in this folder the next thing is what we see these are just a normal folder structure you can click on it and then it pops up on the right side and it shows what we have here and very important note here perhaps you can see here many many things already included and that the reason for that is we already selected the third person template for example if we would uh, select at start uh, what was it yeah the empty one then nothing uh, nothing is here uh, so we have only here all this kind of things because we selected the third person template and the starter content and you can see the starter content is here with many 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 options uh for example uh, we have a map okay that's not very important <laughs> but here we have materials you can see which we can use or we have here particles effects which we can use we have here some static meshes uh, which we can use and you can see this is the started content we for this one we need again a special video for demonstration for testing and so on yeah but of course this is just a normal st uh, structure folder but here is something very interesting what i want to show you and what is that this is the search bar bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. and why is this search bar one of the most powerful tools in unreal engine at least i think so why because this search bar it makes your life so convenient later when you have a name convention name convention means here for example let me show you something i go to the starter content and materials or static meshes have special names and what i mean with special mains names is let me click for example your material you can see they have a prefix right m it uh, stays for materials underscore and then the name for the material asset platform or a uh, brick clay new but all time with this prefix m underscore and this is a convention and why is this kind of convention good let me show you one more we have here props and here you can see the static mesh has a convention a prefix sm stays for static mesh and then the name uh, for example in this case we have a crouch a uh, couch not a crouch <laughs> okay whatever now now let me show you the power of a search bar a uh, search uh, yeah, of the search here so I go here on top to all and I want to uh, watch all materials right but uh, I have let's say I have not a folder I have not 
or let's say I have a folder materials like here, but let's say I have also materials in other places here around because this one, this materials are only uh, was in the static content folder, but perhaps I have materials here when I click my uh, mannequin and character, you can see it. Then I go to character of mannequin. They are not in the same place like the static uh, content folder materials so they are not at the same place so if i would watch here the materials i have not all materials so that said i go on top to all and now i use the convention m i just write m hmm, let's go with a oh, how about this m oh, i don't know let me see no one more time m whatever underscore and now you see if you use this convention m underscore all um all things what it finds have uh, um yes <laughs> when it finds all things whatever m underscore it will pop up and now you will find all materials but you can see here one problem too and what is that you can see here this one have a M underscore and it's not a material and and this one too but there is one more trick what you can use and it is very easy all materials have this green line so when you watch this M as long as it has a green line it will be a material and for example here it has no um, green line not a green line um, then you know it's not a material as well okay uh, but for this search uh yeah for this search uh probably we'll need one more video to make it absolute clear and how powerful this is it's uh this is one thing what i really like because depends on the searcher you can make a very nice very easy structure here in combination with this search okay let's continue what we have here what is that uh filters yeah you watch this and if you have a very big uh, structure then you can filter this one and then search this depends on the filter very good but in my in our case we are at the start we are not going <laughs> we, we don't need these filters at the start at least because we make very less okay let's go on gear dock in layout it says here oh now it's uh dock in layout like it said this one means just now i can't i uh, mm, uh it is docked here right this is more the style of unreal engine 4 uh, because there was docked it too actually i like this one more because if you want uh very fast I mean you want just change here go here down and then switch or search this one is faster a little bit faster because if you have not docked it down you have just all time press control space bar and then this one pops up and so on so this is preference so if you like this one or this one let's undock it uh, let's see if I can this one I don't know uh, where is that? No. This one. Look at where. Where is this? Where is this? Okay. Now I have a problem. I don't know how to dock. So what we do then? For example, I don't know how to undock this. But perhaps it's anywhere here. Anywhere. But let's say I messed it up, and indeed I messed it up again. So what I do? I showed you in our last video there is a very easy solution when you messed up what you can do you just go to windows layout and I use the default layout you can of course um, uh, um, load a layout which you have saved but in my case default layout thing and uh, third person map why I'm jumping here that's interesting okay it's a little bit strange that it's jumping here because it should not jump here as a default layout but yeah 
It should jump here. This is the default layout. <laughs> yeah, this is the point. And now we are back. Okay. And here, one more note. You see the world outline is not here. But in my case, I activate this again. Um, because I want to use that one later. All right. Then. This one, you make it if you like it. But here you have a bigger screen. Perhaps uh, this one is nice for yeah for a feeling i would say to see the screen a little bit bigger but for production i would rather prefer the other way because then i don't have control space bar to click all time it's docked here and i can switch here very fast yeah you decided how you like it and we go to the next thing source control yeah i talked about this already if you have a source control um this is very important um, then uh, you can uh, it will be shown here on the right side right now I have no source control and one more note here to source control learn source control at start I would say uh, watch our video about it how to set it up how to use it but you would uh, you will probably use a little bit uh, yeah, other things perhaps I don't know if it's difficult mm, at start but you can skip it at start uh, as well. But keep in mind, if you start a real project where you say, I want make a game, then before you do that, learn source control. Because if you say, I just want to try out some tutorials, there you don't need any source control. <laughs> because this is just a tryout and to repeating stuff. But if you say I'm working on serious stuff, if you say I'm working on serious setups or I want to use this setup perhaps later, then use source control from start because later you will need it anyway so you can learn it. In my case, I mentioned it already, I use the local source control uh, not really local source control, I just use a hard drive, I save my file uh, on a hard drive and if I messed up and all lose then I load my hard drive which is not a source control because this is just a backup of files in a, stay in a, in a state where it was before but on this other side a source control um, if you watch this then you can see that you can just go some steps back and check it and don't select it and you have many cool options there um uh, yeah this is the last thing what i want to say for that and yeah i think this one is done for this video in the next video before what we do what i said it's a little game demonstration so let me show you what i mean with that when i start already here right we have here already a game now and it looks a little bit different than the demonstration what I had before, yeah. especially the lightning. And the reason for that one is because I have uh, reduced the scalability. Let me show you that one too. When If I go for example cinematic and now I play. You can uh, if I can play you can see cinematic my my graphic card is already not capable of I have a very old PC but this one will look really cool if you have a good graphic card uh, let me go <laughs> let me scale this down to epic let's see if I can I can use this one yeah it's a little bit better yeah and you can see we use here also shadows, right? And uh, and this one is a very, very cheap uh, level. Think about it if you make a very high extra level, this one. There yeah, you definitely need a very, very good graphic card. <laughs> okay, in my case, like I said... Uh, where is this show? Availability? Where it's gone? I'm a little bit strange, right? What's going on? It's gone, <laughs> literally gone. I'm blind also. 
it was here the scalability okay whatever it is gone but i know another place where to find it like i showed you right top on the left side there is settings and then you go to scalability and then you go to i go to medium and shadows to low um uh, yeah and that's it and then i play this one more time yeah that's the thing and here it's back again <laughs> this button was just gone okay i stop here guys and in the next video like i said we make a demonstration we have already a working template which you can see right now and this one we will do something with that okay bye and eros whatever